going to look at uh, custom transitions and using masks to create custom transitions in After Effects. So we'll start off with Animate. So you'll have your, you've got your your animation. Uh, so we want to export it and import it into After Effects. So first thing is to export this out of Animate. So if we go to File, Export, Export Video, and then you don't need to change the, the default settings. Just make sure you're saving it to somewhere you can find it. Uh, then export. Okay, and then if we switch into After Effect, now um, you'll also need to open the uh, demo uh, file, which is called uh, Build Custom Transitions, which again is on will be on Teams for you to download in the zip folder. Um, so you have that open, uh, and you'll see that there's some video in there. Uh, we're not going to use the video file; we're going to use our animation instead. But we can keep these video layers in here that's fine we can just hide them so I'll just hide those I'm just going to hide everything in here for a minute um, and then import the animation in so file and import so it's the MOV file uh, we can again keep the default settings that's fine and you'll see this will import into your footage uh, project window here um, so we want to bring that into the composition. So I can just drag that from the footage window into the composition window. Um, now the other thing you might find is that the duration isn't correct at the moment. The duration is um, is too short. So if we go into composition and composition settings, and we just extend the composition. So if we change it from 10 to 20 seconds. And we can change the frame rate to match our animate frame rate. So we we'll change from 23 frames a second to 10. The uh, dimensions are, are fine. So 1280 by 720. Again, if, if for any re you know, it's useful to know this. If you want to, you've just got to make sure that the dimensions of your movie in animate match the dimensions of the movie in After Effects. So you can adjust these dimensions here if you need to. We'll OK that. And that's hopefully extend, extended the duration. So we have our full animation there now. Uh, so we're at 20 seconds of animation. So, so that's that first stage. So we've set that up. Okay, so we've got the animate. We've got the animation in uh, After Effects now. Uh, we can zoom in and out. Um, on the, the video itself. Um, now we've got these this um, purple solid layer here. So this is our first mask layer. So we want to make that visible now. So if we turn that on by clicking on the show uh, eye icon, um, and you'll see that this uh, purple mask appears across the uh, the animation. Um, incidentally, to create, if you want to create a, another mask layer, and um, we've got the two pre-created here, uh, very straightforward. If you right-click in the layer panel here, go to New and select solid okay and then you can choose the color of the mask here um, I can set that up so I can create any additional masks uh, there so that, that's how you create the solid layer um, we're going to use the shape tool to control the mask if you click on the shape tool up here uh, just make sure you've selected the purple uh, solid layer as well the mask layer um, and then if we click and drag the uh, shape to now that this is this is how we create our mask okay so if I now select the selection tool I can drag so this is this is our mask you see I can drag this across the video here now uh, and that you know we can we can then manipulate that and decide how much of the the video we want to mask. So we use uh, anchor points which we're familiar with so you can click on individual anchor points and drag those to shape the mask, whatever shape you want. We can stick with a rectangle. So we're going to move the time indicator to where we want the, the mask to appear. So we're, I'm going to put it just at this point where the, the character goes off stage left and then reappears stage left. Um, so if we move the needle to where we want the, the mask to appear um, if we press M, you'll see that appear that reveals the mask path, 
which is underneath, uh, nested underneath the purple solid layer. If we click on the stopwatch here, that will insert a keyframe at that point. Okay, now I want to move the needle on from here. You can do it visually, manually by hand, or if I click in the uh, time indicator box here and type in plus 10, sorry, plus 10, that will move the uh, indicator on precisely uh, 10 frames, okay? Just kind of precise way of doing it. Right, so what I want to do now is I want to activate the transform um, box around this mask. So if I, with the selection tool, double click on the, the mask, you'll see it changes to that familiar transform bounding box. Then if I click and drag the central, uh, what we call the handle here, I can drag the mask right right across the um, scene at that point. Okay, if I go back to the time indicator window here, type in plus 10 again, that will move on another 10 frames. And I want to re reverse um, what, what I've just done. So I want to remove the mask from the, from the video now. So again, if I double click on the mask and grab this handle, here, I can then drag the mask back uh, over to the left hand side so it's, it's uh, removed from the video again. Okay, and you'll see uh, each time I've manipulated the mask, we have our three key frames that have appeared on the mask path here. So you see we've initially, and we've got obviously it transitions between those automatically, tweens between them, like in animate. So we've got a tween from the first keyframe, this middle one then back across so mask covers and then mask reveals again okay now we've set up these keyframes here we want to so we can use these uh, to create a second mask so if I click on mask the mask path layer here that automatically selects those three keyframes if I press ctrl C I can copy that mask path okay if I now go to uh, the other mask layer here which is uh, the, the cyan one solid mask and show that one uh, sorry let me just hide it again for a sec if I move the needle to a point in between the first and second keyframes on the purple layer uh, <coughs> then click on the the cyan layer um, if I then go to uh, the cyan mask and click on that press ctrl V to paste it uh, and then I can press M to be sure that the, the new mask path which is on the uh, cyan layer is visible too and you'll see that the, the new three keyframes have appeared on the cyan layer too but they're slightly slightly offset. Uh, I need to make that visible and you should see that we have now the purple mask followed by the cyan mask. It's quite a nice way of um, just using those keyframes to make an additional mask. Okay, so if we just play that through, we should have a transition. Okay, again, you can tweak the timings of this if you want once you've set it set it up. Um, there's nothing to stop you selecting individual individual keyframes and moving them, repositioning them, or, or repositioning them as a block, selecting them as a block and repositioning until you're happy with the timing of it. <coughs> 